We're in. We're on. There we go. We are. We have done a mic That's it. from Biceps and Banter. Awesome. We are here to help you with your fitness business in any way we can, shape any any shape or form. Anything. Anything. If you take one little nugget from this, just comment below and say nugget. That'd be nugget. great at any point. But put nugget. Remember the time we did the chicken nugget challenge? Oh, do you know what? I can really fancy chicken nugget now. I've just said that. Weird, isn't it? Go to McDonald's Strange. if you want. Okay. Yeah. Go and check it out. That's an old, uh, old YouTube video. How many did I do? Can you remember? I remember. No, 40. Sorry. Have you forgotten? <laughs> 111. 40. 111. I have 40 for that. fucking warm up. I think I did 40. <laughs> yeah, 111. I think, uh, I think I got through 80 in 15 minutes. Yeah. So it was in an hour. And I am. Um, we, st- we established with you, didn't we, what, that you had this cutoff. Yeah. Of time. If I didn't do it within about 20, 25 minutes. It was 20. I'm done. Yeah. Um, but I remember doing the 80th um, nugget at, at around 15 minutes. And the world record is somewhere around 150. And I thought, I've done 18, 15. And I remember the thought in my head was, <laughs> you're going to break the world record. <laughs> like, I was, I thought, I'm going to break the world record. And then you just it just shows that for the next 45 minutes, I, I could only get an additional 31. Yeah. Um, very, very tough. It's funny. I saw Adam Lowe in the, um, in the gym yesterday and he said, uh, I watched your 10,000 calorie breakfast this morning. I was like, fucking hell, that's old school. Yeah. Um, he was like, how do you do that? I was like, I probably couldn't do it anymore. I was like, we did one that was 20, 24,000 in 24 hours. I was like, go and watch that one. I was like, I thought I'd fucking ruptured my stomach. <laughs> Uh, remember how bad I was yeah. they were good times weren't they card it's not there no uh, <laughs> click that up there it's not, it's there. not yeah. there um yeah like I suppose look like we'll we'll talk about this a little bit now because why not but yeah in terms of like the future I suppose and stuff obviously we're trying to um we're obviously doing what we're doing now in, in business stuff but we've got plans to try and create a bit more time in our weeks and hopefully months. buy a Lamborghini uh, yeah, a bit more time so that we can go back to doing those sorts of like funnier YouTube videos, you know, all that sort of stuff. Obviously, you guys loving this stuff, obviously, because you comment it below. You're laughing it up. Because you comment below love and you're, you know, you're loving it. Um, everything. <laughs> yeah, just keep commenting yeah, different yeah. stuff. Comment, comment love and I'll send you everything you need. <laughs> fucking hell. Just fucking, just send me an old message. Um, <laughs> but yeah, comment love, definitely do that. Um, is it, yeah, we're going to start getting back to doing that, those videos because we, we look, but, one of the reasons we used to love doing them was because we used to love making them. Yeah. Like it, for us, it was rarely about the views. It was like, we used to enjoy job, really. making them. Yeah. Good job. Them. No views on them. Um, so yeah, we will hopefully bring those, um, those sorts of videos back at some point. We do um, regularly get, you guys should have more followers or you guys should have more views. Well, tell people about it then. I know, isn't it? It's just that I think that the type of people that watch our stuff are not the ones who are inclined to share it. Like, yeah, they're yeah. just not that bothered about being that social, yeah. like, like us. Yeah. Um, but yeah, anyway. Never mind, eh? We're just sat here waiting to go viral one day. Yeah, yeah. So, so the best way to go viral is just not post as much. That's yeah, yeah definitely, do less. That's definitely what we need Probably to do. Probably do less. Yeah. We'll do less YouTube videos and hope just one of them takes off. Yeah, it's just one, yeah. Um, um, so yeah, we will go back to doing doing some of those, I think, um, in the... In, in the, the new future. year, I think we're going yeah. to make the pledge to, to do some more behind the scenes lifestyle eating days in the lives spoofs um boring though isn't it that it's boring though isn't it so i'm not gonna do it i'm not gonna do it because it's boring yeah God. we might need to employ a cameraman do you reckon we need to get we need to get a cameraman won't we? we'll have to man i'm not holding it yeah not anymore too big time for that prima donna now isn't he you know I mean? fucking hell too big time for you've that. changed your tune i just not been, not i just don't go to the gym as much now so i can't hold it i physically can't hold it he's forgotten his roots <laughs> physically can't hold it mate he's physically can't yeah um what are we talking about Instagram bios. There we go. Instagram bios. Why people fuck them up. Why people fuck them up. Because they usually write, um, I help busy professionals. Um, start, lose, from the, start from the top. Lose 10 pounds in 10 weeks so they can scour at their confidence. Without giving up the foods they love. The, the, love. For the rocket emoji and a pizza. And, the, and then you worry why the people that are coming into your program can't stick to anything because you've promised them all the foods that they love. It's uh, always as well with there's a cross. There's a rocket and there's a pizza. Yeah, there's always a pizza. In those three things, yeah. those three lines. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Um, start from the top. So what should their name well, be like? They definitely should have their name in it, for one. I, the amount of people I've come across, I would say one in 10 people who follow me are coaches, mm. who they follow. I go to send them a message about, oh, hey, John, whatever. And I can't find out their name because mm. it's not written in there. They, they put something else in there, stupid. Yeah. Ridiculous. So starting from your handle, um, mine is Mike Biceps Banter. 
His is Dan Bazit's Hunter. Obvious. If you don't follow us, go follow us mm. on Instagram. You, you probably do. already do. Because yeah. we are massive. Um, Simon Mitchell said, was it Simon Mitchell? Mm-hmm. I'm quoting him like it's like um, <laughs> like, like a philosopher. Yeah. Uh, Plato. Um, no, Simon Mitchell, I think, once said um, that that should be, you should, all, you should be able to put dot com on the end of it and it should look moderately like a, a website your website hmm. so if you've got dosh uh, dosh dosh that's dash and dot yeah. combined yeah. so if you've got a dosh in there um <laughs> if you've got that da- dash why can't i say dash and dot <laughs> i don't know if you've got Sorry. a dot and a dash in there a fucking hyphen whatever that is colon fucking punctuation hmm. marks like if you've if it's just fucking all over the place if it doesn't make any any fucking sense as well you get you get the ones that just don't make any fucking sense as well yeah then change it that's your fucking handle i also think people you want to make it something that people can remember so that when they're typing it in to tag you in it's easy remember mm. easy to remember um do you think people need a company name like we've got no so what would you call it like damn meat coaching oh like, not gonna get anywhere with that damn meat pt or i don't know something like that oh you wouldn't get anywhere with that we were only uh we were only buys a semantic because the youtube channel weren't we mm, we were yeah yeah you don't have to have a name you can if you want you don't have to um i just think people people again worry far too much about that again pick one one or the other pick either a name or your name and then yeah. roll with it don't spend forever worrying about it <laughs> yeah <laughs> doesn't matter james smith is james smith pt still yeah he's done all right Elite coaching. Um, it's not though, is it? Yeah, um, but uh, but yeah. So if anything, now you've said that, go with your name. <laughs> go with your name because people think that that they should do something like that, like Dan Meek, yeah. elite coaching. Yeah, that's what no. I mean. You sound like a twat. Just put Dan Meek. That's what I mean. That I was taking the mic. Um, Fucking hell. <laughs> and then from down there, so down a step, it should be Mike Harrison. And we like to put a line to separate it. And we've got online coaches coach. Okay. So Dan's also got the same. The amount of people that just have their name in there Mm. with no online coach next to it. Mm. Well, that's your first port of call to be able to show your follower or new follower what you do. Straight away, that can be in your name. Done. You can see what it is. The amount of people that don't have that, that just have fucking Dave Smith, and then underneath it, they might have that in that in in light grey trainer. Okay, great. Mm. Like online one to one gym owner, what? Sort that bit out. Name, line, f- female fat loss coach, fucking online strength and performance coach, like mindful eating coach. Yeah. Oh. Spine fleet and coach. Fucking no one's got that written in there. Yeah, no, yeah. So. Um, definitely not. <laughs> um, put it in there. That's, that's what you are. You want people to know what you are. Put it in there. Mm-hmm. Below that. So sometimes we'll ask people to do an exercise. And you can go and do it, I guess. Um, Comment below exercise if you've done it. <laughs> Um, <laughs> if you're going to do it always comment helps <laughs> has I to, think has to, you have to. some other way um, yeah. you don't tell them they never will yeah exercise write that's that the word exercise um, in capitals no we say <laughs> no uh, lowercase e uh, upper <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, write down 10 bios 10 examples of bios the reason why we say 10 is not because it's lucky um, 9 will work or 11 but it just gets you thinking and get you tweaking and get you thinking of different ways to, to put things over. So your bio should reflect what you do and who for really. In you in the words that you would say it. Like in in your language. So don't just put in like Dan says, what is it? I help busy professionals. I help busy professionals lose 10 pounds, in, uh, 10 kilos in 10 weeks and help skyrocket their confidence without, whilst, giving, without giving up the foods they love. Okay, so don't do that because everybody has that. It's kind of a good framework or good principle, but not that specifically because everybody's got it. It's like that was the template example given to people and, and everyone's just, got, just, done just gone it. with it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Change it for your niche and for your demographic and you can think outside the box. Sometimes we'll get people who... 
do loads of that and then some of them will copy us like ours is like we'll um get you in shape we'll help your business we'll make you laugh so then i'll get some people who come back when i've given them the task of yeah. doing 10 bios then they go we'll do this we'll do well that's just copy you've just copied ours though like i had to um i had to have a go on my clients the other day he won't mind me saying he probably watches this to be fair i i on his on his check-in on his update he was like oh yeah i've just tweaked my bio a little bit um and changed it to, to this 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 i just on my update i just said I don't like it. What I just said it? to him. I can't remember now off the top of my head. Um, but it, it, again, it was just a generic sentence. Mm. It could have been like, I help driven ladies um, lose weight who've been let down by slimming clubs in the past or, so, or something along, along those, something generic along those lines. And I just said to him, I said, you wouldn't say that. Mm. I said to him, you would not say that. Um, so I, I basically said to him, I was like, this is what you would say. And I just give an example, like on the spot, do you know, because obviously... That's what I'm like. And he's gone with it, to be fair. But this is what I went with after that. The go-to guy for driven women who want to boss their fitness, boss their confidence, and boss their lifestyle. I was like, you'd say that. And he was like, yeah, I would say that. You're right. Is he Scouser? No, he's not a Scouser. Oh, they always say boss. They do say boss, don't they? Yeah. Um, but I was like, it's your first impression to get your personality across. Mm -hmm. And the worst thing you can do is put no personality in there. And most people have got no personality in them. Yeah. And just like one sentence like that, and, and like... Obviously, I've used a framework there. Obviously, we've gone, we'll, we'll help you this, we'll help you that, whatever. But I know that he would say that because I've seen his content when he's really, really you know, on it. And the thing about doing the 10 bios, the reason it's important to do 10 as well, by the way, is that I often find with my clients that when they do that exercise, the one that they end up going with is usually number eight, nine, or 10. Yeah. <laughs> because you better. get the shit out of the way and it kind of has to be like a subject line, right? An exercise for emails and stuff like that. Is that... I often say to them, so I go, okay, now you've got that eight, nine, and 10 that are really good. Now do 10 more based off those three. And not enough people do try different things. They think Such it has a to follow. Slave driver. They feel like it has to follow a set structure. Or well, the other mm. one I get as well is like, oh, I'm going to wait until it's perfect. No, 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 no. Just put, put one up there. Yeah, yeah. Put, put one of those eight, nine, ten that. up there, and then we'll work out another one later down and the line. And I'm like, the beauty of that is you can change it. Yeah, you can check. Guess what? You can change it. It doesn't yeah. have to be right now. Um, it just has to be better than the one before, which it, which it is always. Yeah. Um, but it is your first impression to get your personality across. And I think there's another guy. Um, again, he may watch these. Um, I don't know uh, if, you know, he's in our members group. So he might watch this. James. Let me find James's page. This is a very good one. He uses an example all the time. Um, let me find him. James, fat loss and lols. Um, well, James is an online, online female fat loss coach. He'll, he'll love that. that he'll love that shout out. out. Just comment, shout out. Come on, shout out. <laughs> <laughs> so his is, I help mums come first with a winky face so they can ditch fat, regain confidence and become a kick-ass role model to their kids. Straight away, right, That with that bio, you know he's a bit of a joker because he's put, I help mums come first with a winky face, <laughs> right? Now we know what he means Brave. in priority lists, yeah, yeah. right? I, but, ask me how I'm spelling coming. Yeah, ask me how I'm spelling coming. That's cute. C-U-M-I-N. It's cute, man. Because I work with his business partner, Bjorn, and, and, I, and I think there's an element of this where like- so, How are Abba? How are they left? They, they, they're dead yet. Um, so his is, I help mums have their cake and eat it, AKA ditch fat, regain confidence, self-esteem, happiness while enjoying life. Can work on that. I think a little bit more once we get his personality out there. James is, like I said, got his personality out there straight away with the first fucking line. I help, I help mums come first. Brilliant. Straight away. You, you know, he's not that serious. <laughs> it's not, away. I, I don't think that's very professional. <laughs> yeah. It's not, it's not very, it's not professional enough. Um, <laughs> And, and I think that too many people are just not thinking outside the box with it. Like you've got an opportunity there to, to, to be yourself and be authentic. And to grab people, someone's attention, get their attention. Get their attention. Get their attention. Like Say it in your voice. Just put fucking eye up, men lose weight. Ours oh, ain't man. the best. It does what it says on the thin. Like we do do those things, you know, very well actually. Yeah, but, probably you know. the best out of anyone, probably. But. And every week as well. Every, every week, yeah. Uh, every week. Um... Type every week below. <laughs> if you're a client of ours, you get some video every week. Put every week. No. Put every week. Um, every week. Yeah. So um, so yeah. So so that's the bio. Think outside the box. Don't look. The worst thing that you can do is go and look at other coaches for inspiration. That's the worst thing that you can do. Like I said this to to one of my clients this week, who I coach every week. Um, <laughs> every week as well. Um, I said what you need to do is you need to th create content. You okay? Yeah, I'm just trying to find another example. I've gotten okay. an example. Okay, uh, even more examples. Yeah. So I, I said you need to create content without acting as though you've never consumed any content from anybody else before. Mm -hmm. Like if 
if there was this feature on Instagram where you weren't allowed to follow any other profession, uh, sorry, anybody else within the same profession, so if you only had, let's just say, a thousand gen pop and you weren't allowed to follow any other online coach, what content would you make then? Then you would start to think outside the box. Mm -hmm. Like, and then it would be authentic. Then it would come to you, like to yourself. Whereas it's so obvious watching people take ideas and inspiration from other people. Copying. Copying. (laughs) When you don't actually know whether they're successful. So what are you actually copying? Instead, we never copied ours. Like, ours came out of our head. The anti-fitness fitness guys came out of our head. Funny. It's yeah. been stolen, but yeah, it's fine. We'll make, it, we'll make you laugh, whatever. We'll get you fucking in shape. We'll help your business. We didn't see anybody write will, will, will. We didn't see any of that. We just made it up. Just, just came out of our head. Like, And that's what happens with all of our content. We don't look at other people's and go, we need to create content for that. The only reason that we do that and look at other people's is to take the mick out of it. Q4. <laughs> Type Q4. Yeah. Or um, Q4. Comment. Q4. Yeah. Um, this might have got loads of comments on it. We'll get, yeah. to, we'll get to this video when it's launched. No comments. Yeah. Brilliant. No, no comments. They won't do any of it. They, yeah, of they're right. useless to people watch this. Don't share it. Don't comment. Don't Nothing. Anything. Don't like it. Don't subscribe. So like, Nothing. act act like you're not following anybody else. Like, and I would say, unfollow people. Yeah unfollow them don't go and look at people other people's bios and think this is why everybody else is, this is why it looks the same like the it's so common that i get someone come into coaching who i coach every week every week yeah and i'll say um same thing every week no you won't say same thing I, every week yeah every week yeah and i'll look at their bio because I'll, I'll be doing an instagram audit live on cam- on the video yeah. on yeah, the yeah. video update that they get every week mm-hmm. and instagram audit. and i go down and the first one i'll go not great, is it? I was like, I could probably find, if I sat here for five minutes, I could probably find 10 that were very similar within a couple of words. Like, and if I'm finding that, it's really unlikely that that is organically coming out of your head. Mm -hmm. Like, because there was once a time where, in fact, you've been copied as well. So Dan got copied word for word with an email and with an Instagram post, numerous Instagram posts. And I once got copied with an analogy that I made. The analogy was, um, staying staying on your diet all week and having a cheat meal to celebrate is like washing your car and taking a shit on the bonnet as a reward. And someone copied it. And um, I remember saying, well, you're quite clearly copying. And I looked back at its content and he was, can you remember when it was happening? And it was, I can see where your bell meets your shaft and your leggings. Uh-huh. And he was using like sock full of custard. Mm-hmm. And these were all things that had come out of my head. And he was like, oh, it's just a coincidence. It's a coincidence. It's a coincidence that you've thought of the exact same sentence. Like the the rationale, and the argument is, well, yeah, but it's, you know, I believe that this as well, like it's it's my opinion as well. Yeah, but it's not your words though, is it? It's like me wanting to write a wizard's book, which is fine, but having the same, the first page read it word for word Harry Potter. That wouldn't, it wouldn't coincidentally happen. Oh no! I was just thinking of a wizard's book, and that's just what came out of my head. Yeah. Well, no, you copied it, didn't you? No, I didn't. The other thing with that as well is like I remember when I read when I when I read that email that got just lifted word for word, and the guy sent it back to me. Head coach now somewhere is he? <laughs> Something like that. Um, is that I knew it was mine straight away because w- the way it was written, I was like, that's the way I write. Everyone's got their own unique style of doing this sort of stuff, and the same with. The Instagram posts that I started reading them, I was like, well, straight away, it's ripped and copied from mine. And I and I didn't even know the exact post. I just knew it was mine. Mm. And I had to go back and find it. You know, I had to go back and find it and told and tell them I was right. Yeah. yeah thank you very much. It's gone on the quiz. Um, <laughs> is that I knew it was mine because the way it was written, the way it was done. And I think there's so many people out there with their bios who if someone copied it, they wouldn't they wouldn't go, oh, he's copied my bio. Because they would gave copy it off someone else. So mm. they wouldn't know it was theirs. Mm-hmm. I had that innate feeling of like, this is my stuff. I've, I've written that. Mm-hmm. Like I know these words. I say these words. It's my style. Same with the, like you said, the bios and stuff. Like that. There's just certain things you say and you do that you go, well, that's mine. That's the way that I would, I would do things or say things. And so many people write their Instagram bios and it's not them in any way, shape or form. It's mm-hmm. just a templated copy from someone else that they think they should write. They think they need to say, and the best bios are the ones that people come up with. I think some of the best bios I've seen are from people who aren't even using Instagram as a job. 
-hmm. It's just like they're, they're just a normal person mm -hmm. and they've put something witty and funny and bitey. Yeah. You know, but bitey, I don't. But I don't. In their bio. Yeah. And they're the best ones sometimes. I'm like, this person, I get on with them. Yeah. Good sense of humor. Good, you know, you'd be better off sometimes as an online coach putting that in than you would. I hope you lose weight. Oh, fuck off. Like, all right. I used, to, I used to laugh at some of the Tinder, Tinder bios that were out there. Like you see some of the examples of good Tinder bios like that are witty and it's the same thing like all, that's all you're doing you're attracting people like that's all you're needing to do so do you think it's going to attract people if you put the same thing as what every other online coach does probably not um so that's that covered so again we can't give you a template of it because there shouldn't be one um so then below that the next thing that you have in your bio is it's your link tree, isn't it? Um, where you've got your link to the podcast that you don't uh, do anymore. Uh, inquiry form. You, your inquiry form, form. apply. Uh, you've got... Um, Probably a calendar, a booking call, book, call book a free call. call. Yeah, book, book a, a free call. call. Uh, Email list, newsletter, sign up. Something. Nothing in you've, there. you've got a load of a tripe in there, basically. Probably a um, discount code for something. Yeah. Uh, you, that's it's worthless. Basically a load of garbage. Um, so you get rid of all of that, basically. Um what you should have in that link is the link to a lead magnet, um, be it a free... Oh, it can be changeable as well, mate. It should be. It should, be. It should have more than one lead magnet. So, so. so that's the beauty, is that you should have one and you should just do it cyclical. You'll, you'll advertise one for a couple of weeks and talk about you know the uses of it and what you're doing with it and so on and so forth, like we might do with our client lead tracker, um, which we might use the lead magnet that I've created. And if you want that, Type a client lead tracker. Um, <laughs> all one word. Um, all one tracker. word. Yeah. Um, like the beauty of it is, is that you can push any uh, any uh, any one at any uh, any given time. So for one week it might be client lead tracker. Next next week, for example, we could do our productivity planner. The week after we could do about our Bailey seminar. The one uh, one after that we could do how to analyze nutrition assessment video that we've created. Like because you should always have something that's that's different that appeals to somebody's somebody's needs and wants because you're getting new followers all the time what people usually do is they'll have the free calorie calculator in there uh which i believe is from another mentorship that they give out stock so again not only is all your content um exactly the same as everybody else's mm. the lead magnet is as well exactly the same um so again and, and, and then they post content recently just saying how like your you calorie count is useless and you should just everyone got needs different amount of calories like the amount of coaches that post that sort of content and then go I've got a free calorie calculator it's, fuck, it's fucking mental <laughs> so there'll be people watching this with calorie calculators in there that they've oh that's good enough and again everything's just like an afterthought that's good enough that, there's no effort is there in that there's no, no there's no effort there's, so. that, oh that's good enough that, it's a free cal calorie calculator that they've got from somewhere else they put no effort in they probably put their brand in their logo on it because it's probably white labelled no effort it's fine um, coincidentally all of our lead magnets have been thought up by us filmed by us if it's filmed carried created out carried out licensed by um coincidentally that they're actually useful because that's your first impression that that somebody has of you is that if they download something for free it's got to be quite good hasn't it mm -hmm. so like my first ever one that i created when i was mh fitness you know good MH, name it's a good name initials um was beer belly to beach body in four simple steps didn't even know about anything that we know now talks to a niche target audience does what it says on the tin great great title mm -hmm. still look back now what were the four tips fuck knows <laughs> can't remember eat more protein eat more protein track your calories fucking probably yeah. hit 10,000 steps yeah fucking exercise same times. advice that you'd probably give burnt out teachers that are stressed and need to unwind and yeah. you know reduce their their belly yeah. like that's the thing in it it's like whatever your niche is yeah if people think oh but i've got to be niche specific it's like no you've just got to sell it to your niche it's the same things yeah. same principles the teacher's fat loss guide yeah yeah same thing though yeah but just packaged differently yeah yeah how to lose five pounds in your first week working from home same. it's the same thing it's the same protein cup it's not calorie calculator is it so again just with your lead magnet don't do the, what everyone else does because not only are you putting out content the same as everyone else, your fucking free stuff is now the same as everybody else. Yeah. So do stuff that other people aren't do, doing. How about yeah, that? Do stuff that other people aren't. Make more than one of them. Again, you've got bags of time. If we've got fucking seven or eight between us, again, granted they're not all created within one month, 
you you continue to create them. The problem is that people do one and then push it and then they exhaust their audience for pushing it. They're then sick of pushing it. They never they forget about it. They then email into sixty people and they go, Oh, nobody's signed up for email coaching. Email doesn't work. Email doesn't work. They're not signed up for awesome. coaching. And that's what that's what happens. Instead, what you should do is you should have four or five different lead magnets, probably different type resources, a mixture of ebook uh, video potentially video series maybe a resource that they could use um so you should maybe have like three four five different ones rotate it every two weeks and then have a have three ctas for it each week that's it and then you never then get bored of pushing the same thing because you've got something new and you would show you using it or whatever like I, i'll do this uh, you're not going to see this because this is going to be out fucking way in advance but what i'll do is I'll literally show myself using our, our lead tracker and I, I'm going to explain the benefit of using it and then I'll say who wants it. And then for people, if you want it, uh, I've said that, haven't I? you said it already. Yeah, I've said yeah. that. So, so yeah, so basically get rid of all that guff out of your link tree. And if you don't have an ebook yet or a lead magnet or anything like that, I I would be happy with just saying DM me for, um, for coaching details because I think that that, is still better than an application form. Mm -hmm. Even though that is shite yep. and no one's going to do it, it's still better, which shows you how bad an application form is. But you've all got application forms, probably, because you might have heard from other business Someone mentors. Other, another coach has got it in. Yeah. O other coaches have it. Type form. But it's type form as well. Always type form. Or drop form. Drop form. Type mm. form or drop form. One of those two. Always one of those two. Because you need to pre-qualify them. You've got seven clients. You don't need to pre-qualify shit. No. <laughs> Like, no, they need to pre-qualify you. <laughs> exactly that. <laughs> exactly that. So that's what to do with your bio, starting from the top down. Um, hopefully that helps some exactly. people. And bonus points as well. Simon Mitchell would tell you to have your highlights all sorted out, but oh, we go. can't sit here and say that because we don't have our sorted out. Um, no. But again, if you do have time, which you do have time, um, is that as well, He would, I think he would recommend the highlights are done so that they should be, again, who you are, who you work with, what you help with, your results, what they can do to work with you. And I think he also recommends a three pin posts are also something similar along those lines. Three pin posts, yeah. I yeah. Like if you're who you are, who you help and how they can start. If you're a you. male transformation coach, have three male transformations pinned to the top. That'd be pretty good. Or at least two. At least two. Yeah. Yeah. Just a Yeah. Pin posts should be yeah. Uh, transformations. The amount that don't. Yeah. Your best transformations. In it. If you haven't got three, then that's half the problem. There you, go. there you go. Anyway, well there. Is that it? Oh, we we're going to do a little Q&A, weren't we? Oh, but, yeah. uh, is it too long? It's too long now, isn't it? Is it too long? It's got to be, yeah, because yeah, we started it's, this. Yeah, it's eight. It's eight. We need to cut off. Well, we'll Done. leave that for another one. As you cut off. Q&A. There you go. Do you want more, do you want to know more about me and Mike in general? Cut Q&A in the comments. <laughs> Q&A. <laughs> um, we'll do some Q&As. There'll be loads of comments on this. I reckon. This one's too all that goes viral. Too many. We'll probably have to be yeah. scrolling through. Fucking hell, we've had to Right, that's it. Like it and stuff. Um, subscribe. See subscribe. Comment, subscribe. Um, 